Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Let's start off with some developing news. The president and CEO of the Jamaica Public Service, JPS, Steve Burbridge, has resigned. Employees of the Light and Power Company were informed in an email Friday morning. Burbridge, which, who was appointed CEO May last year, has decided, according to this email, that this he said rather that for recent death in his family and a need to be geographically closer to his family members led to this decision. Now, Damien Obiglio, the current board chairman, who was appointed April last year, will act in the post until a replacement is found. He is also a former CEO of JPS. Now, Burbridge says he will remain for a few more weeks to ensure a smooth transition. Now, again, the president and CEO of the Light and Power Company, JPS, has resigned. To some compensation-related news, the government says it is close to finalizing a system to properly allocate overtime pay for public sector workers. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark says discussions are ongoing with different unions and he expects to have an agreement by the end of March. Prior to the compensation restructure, there were several different methodologies across the public service and across several occupational groups to compensate for work done outside of normal working hours. These arrangements were largely characterized by a lack of equity, inconsistency of application, and in some cases, payments made whether or not work was carried out outside of normal working hours. As a feature of the new compensation system, the government is seeking to establish clear and consistent principles to govern the treatment of work done outside of normal working hours and guidelines for the application of payment. He says, however, for the policy to work in a fiscally sustainable way, each ministry and their agencies will have to put in place proper management systems. In the new compensation regime implemented a year ago, Dr. Clark says of the more than 100,000 public sector employees, fewer than 1,000 remain without, with an outstanding agreement. He says the structure of other benefits are also being discussed. Credit ending with banks and Cambio selling the U.S. dollar for an average $156.27. The going rate for the Canadian dollar is $118.08. The pound is selling for $199.64, while the euro is going for $172.46. The JSC index gained 3,016 points today, while the junior market index improved by two points. Among the 44 winners were JMB Group 6% US dollar shares, Caribbean Assurance Brokers CAB, General Accident Insurance, ISP Finance Services, and Indies Pharma Jamaica. Now the 37 losers included. Jamaica Public Service, JPS 7% shares, Consol Consolidated Bakeries, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, First Rock Real Estate Investments, Jamaican Dollar Shares, and Jetcon Corporation. To some other news now, German ship repair Jamaica has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Caribbean Maritime University, CMU. President of CMU, Professor Andrew Spencer, says this represents the formalization of an existing partnership between the two entities. He adds that it presents a solid training opportunity for students. I think there is the perfect opening through our partnership with GSRJ to be able to get them into apprenticeship programs, to be able to get them into a space that is driven by excellence, to be able to get them to do non-traditional things, things that would not normally be available as careers and jobs in Jamaica. CEO of GSRJ, Colonel Martin Rittman, says he hopes the program could also help train a number Their of at-risk youth. They were really, really pleased and very impressed with the performance of the CMU graduates who were only there as interns working alongside uh, well-trained and international level persons. Uh, we are looking to develop on this because we would like to see a lot more persons, particularly young persons, and even going uh, to find persons who are uh, maybe some of the street youths and so on who can uh, be developed in some of these areas under an apprenticeship program. I've always long said, and uh, 
I know Prof agrees with me, that we'd like to see the Jamaican apprenticeship model uh, being the one that we're going to be moving forward with uh, that is unique to our own um, situation here in Jamaica. He expects this to reduce the need to import labor for the shipyard in the future. The CMU will also benefit from the expertise of personnel brought in by GSRJ. Some will become instructors for courses at the university. And that's it for the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.